Ready? Good. Call to order the uh, regular monthly meeting of the Ellsworth City Co Council, Monday, October 19, 2015, 7 o'clock. All councillors are present, accounted for. We welcome you all to our meeting tonight, and we would go to uh, item number two, the Pledge of Allegiance. We ask you to stand and join us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. <coughs> Item number three, rules of order. The City Council meetings are conducted under the Roberts Rules of Order. Uh, as well as additional rules that were adopted at the organizational meeting in November of 2014. Item number four, adoption of minutes from the following meetings of the Ellsworth City Council. Uh, September 21, 2015, the regular monthly meeting. Those minutes have not, uh, the final uh, draft of those minutes has not come to us yet, so I request that we table that item. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Moved and second. All in favor? Unanimous, thank you. That leaves us two special meetings, both held on September uh, 25th, 2015. Move approval of both of them, Mr. Chairman. Second. Move and second. Any discussion? All in favor? And six nothing, and Councillor Moore was absent. So he, he's in abstention. Gary forgot to call me. <laughs> Item 5, City Manager's Good Report. Evening. Manager Cole. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, as you all know, November 3rd is Election Day, so we encourage everybody to go out and vote and exercise that privilege. <coughs> um, Store Street, you can all see there's a lot of activity down there on Store Street right now. Uh, the northerly end of Store Street, for the most part, has been stripped and is being regraded. Uh, we expect to see uh, the paving train out there, uh, hopefully on Thursday, weather permitting to do that end. And uh, hopefully the uh, south end of Store Street will be done next week. Uh, and hopefully both coarse coat and finish coat. But if we can't do the finish coat, that'll wait to the spring, which is not a big deal. Um, the shoulders have been finished on Westwood Drive and uh, Springhouse Lane. Um, McDonald Avenue is ready for a finished coat right now. That'll finish that up. I believe Stony Ridge Road uh, has been completed or is about to be completed. Um, and uh, Pine Street, the mill and fill will have to wait to the spring. As you know, this is getting towards the end of the uh, construction season, and uh, the uh, asphalt plants will be shutting down in the next couple of weeks, likely. So uh, um, got in uh, a fair amount of this year's schedule, and what we have it will get back in the spring. Um, and the uh, new wheeler has shown up and off to uh, Howard Fairfield to be fitted out. And, We'll be probably seeing it in the highway department about, about January. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is that it? Thank you. Any questions of the manager? Any comments? Thank you, Mr. Cole. Item six, committee reports. Uh, any committees that have met um, that uh, councillors have attended that you'd like to report on? you would like to hear if in the last month you have attended any mr. chairman yes sir recreation committee met last week and there was no not a quorum present but it was discussed um, the winter carnival none of us wanted to talk winter carnival that night because it was such a warm evening mm -hmm. um, but it has been tentatively set for February 13th they're going Moving it back a week, moving it ahead, depending on your point of view. Uh, this year, rather than the first week of February, the weekend, they go into the second weekend. And basketball courts are scheduled to be closed and packed up for the winter this coming Saturday. 
Thank you, Councillor. Any other committees to report tonight? Well, the, um, the Harbor Councilor. Committee met. You, you may have to help, help me out with this one. I'll try. There was a discussion on uh, uh, some ideas for some rates uh, that are a little higher next year than, than uh, this year. And so we'll, that will be coming to the uh, council. And uh, some discussion with regards to uh, uh, vendors at the harbor. Um, the harbor is closed now. Uh, they'll be taking in the, uh, the docks soon. And it's been a pretty good year. Do you want to add anything? I wanted to say there was a discussion about adjusting some of the fees. Did you say that? Yeah. And that's coming before council later. All right. Thank you. Any other committees? Councilor Fortier. Uh, it's not a committee, but it's something that you and I did. Um, Chairman Crossway and myself uh, attended the League of Towns elected municipal officials uh, annual budget uh, annual uh, workshop in Soamsville a couple weeks ago and the outcome of that is the four issues that the League of Town is going to work on in the next calendar year are efficiency um, standards for getting more efficient uh, street lights um, solid waste disposal of the future of the perk and the uh, MRC uh, garbage access plant, regional broadband access, and public transportation and traffic congestion. Um, none of those are super critical to Ellsworth, but we're all, all of them we, we are interested in um, because it affects us. No matter what they do, it'll come and affect us. So, um, had a good meal, mm -hmm. met a lot of the selectmen and, and councilors from the island towns, uh, so good networking opportunity. Very good. Thank you, sir. Any other committees to report? Thank you. Item number seven is citizen comments. This is an opportunity for citizens to uh, make presentation, a short presentation to the council on any subjects that might be germane to city business. And we welcome your comments. We don't guarantee you that you'll get an immediate answer or, or a lot of action right off the bat. But uh, if you do have comments uh, or questions, uh, we give you this opportunity at each meeting to uh, to present those to us. So the floor is open. Don't all move at once. We don't want to stampede. Seeing none, we'll move along. Item number eight, presentation of awards. And the first is uh, to Ginny DeReese for 15 years of service with the tax department. I don't believe... Moving along, <coughs> Kelly Gankos, you come please. Hi. <laughs> the City of Ellsworth proudly presents this certificate of service to Kelly Gankos in recognition of your 10 years of service to the Ellsworth Public Library. Your devotion to duty and loyalty to the community have contributed to the improvement of the City of Ellsworth. Presented this 19th day of October 2015, David Fold, City Manager, and Heidi Grindle, City Clerk. And Kelly, we thank you for your 10 years of service at the library, and we congratulate you. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> Next is Van Stevens. proudly presents this certificate of service to Van Stevens <coughs> in recognition of your 10 years of service as recycling center attendant for the city of Ellsworth Transfer Station. Your devotion to duty and loyalty to the community have contributed to the improvement of the city of Ellsworth. Presented this 19th day of October 2015, signed David Cole, city manager, Heidi Grindle, city clerk. Van, congratulations. Thank you for your <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'd like to take a moment, like to, take a moment to, to 
thank Van for being a good boss over us uh, uh, Saturday. Right. Thank you. <laughs> yep, he, uh, really he snapped that whip a few times, but <laughs> that was a great day. Saturday. Yeah, we yeah, got rid of a lot of uh, trash. Next is Robert Door. The City of Ellsworth proudly presents this certificate of service to Robert Door. Recognition of your five years of service as firefighter engineer for the city of, of Ellsworth Fire Department. Your devotion to duty and loyalty to the community have contributed to the improvement of the city of Ellsworth. Presented this 19th day of October, 2015, David Cole, city manager, Heidi Grindle, city clerk. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Chief Tupper, if he'd come to the podium and he has a few remarks. The podium. What? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one. To expand on Mr. Fortier's presentation here tonight, I got just a short brief uh, words of wisdom that uh, Eric Saunders actually helped us put this together. So it is with great honor that I read this following. Uh, Captain Richard Fortier officially joined the Ellsworth Fire Department on October 1st, 1975, at the age of 18. However, Richard was involved with the Fire Department long before then. What do you say, were you still at diapers, maybe? Close? <laughs> <coughs> Growing up in a firefighter family, uh, the Fortiers, it was a rite of passage to, so to speak, to pitch in during burning season uh, and to help out uh, pick up hose and equipment after a fire. Uh, Richard has held every officer position within the Senate Hale Hose Company. Uh, first as Secretary Treasurer, Vice President, then President, and currently, again, Secretary and Treasurer right now. Some of these positions he's held more than once. Richard was promoted to Lieutenant and then later to Captain after Brother Ronnie retired in 1999. Uh, and Richard was named the Firefighter of the Year in 2008. Not a small feat. Richard has always been and remains one of our most active members of the fire department during emergency calls, trainings, and other times when help is needed. Richard always has been there. Captain Richard Fortier, thank you for your 40 years of service to the Ellsworth Fire Department and the citizens of Ellsworth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The City of Ellsworth proudly presents this certificate of service to Richard Fortier in recognition of your 40 years of service as a volunteer firefighter for the City of Ellsworth Fire Department and Senator Hale uh, Hose Company. Your devotion to duty and loyalty to this community have contributed to the improvement of the City of Ellsworth. Presented this 19th day of October 2015, signed David Cole, City Manager, and Heidi Grindo, City Clerk. And Richard, we just, uh, it's hard to know how to say thank you for somebody that has served in a capacity like this, uh, being a first responder, uh, being on duty when you need to be, helping people through emergency situations, and all because of your love of the community. And uh, so we just want to let you know how much we respect and thank you for that wonderful 40 years of service. Councilor Blanchett. I just want to add a little bit to that, that Richard and I met on our first day of kindergarten. And Mr. Fortier. Dick. I, I just want to mention that you and I met on our very first day of kindergarten. Went right through high school graduation together. I've known you for 53 years. And it really gives me great pleasure to say that, that I've known you for 53 years and knowing what you've done for Ellsworth. Mm -hmm. So, two thumbs up. Well said. Great. Richard, was he always like this? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm what? not going to comment. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably got as many stories about me as I do. <laughs> 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 Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair
Yeah, that Thank might you be all true. for coming and supporting yeah. you, by the way. Thanks. And we start the 225th yeah. year of service. Yes. To the community. I see that. But the paper missed point. Great Uncle Frank was also a member of the Elsworth Fire Department for about six years. So wow. I think we're over 230. 230, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, just there tonight, just so citizens of Ellsworth know what kind of staff and what kind of dedicated people we have serving them. I mean, that's over 80 years of service right there. And uh, that's that's just pretty phenomenal in today's day. In this day and age with so much uh, so much mobility, people moving around here, there, and everywhere. So um, I, re I remember as a small kid in Ellsworth, when the uh, whistle went off, you'd go and you'd consult your long list of, <laughs> you know, where the fire was based on, on how many times and how the whistle blew. And um, back then there were still, there were a lot of 40th. It seemed like hundreds of them, because there were probably only really three or four. <laughs> but they're all really big individuals. Well, three and four seems like a hundred. Yeah. 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 When, well, when yeah. you're only this tall. They were big, big, big tall men. And they were all named Pete. Except for Pete. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just get a hold of Pete Fordia. Which Pete Fordia? <laughs> all right. Thank you for that trip down memory lane, folks. Yeah. Item number nine, consent agenda. We have one item. Council order number 101502. I request the deputy treasurer tax collector to accept payments on tax acquired timeshare units per the attached spreadsheet and to authorize the city manager to release said properties through municipal quick claim deeds. With only one item, Mr. Chairman, I move approval as presented. Okay. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? And that is unanimous. Thank you. Item number 10, public hearing and action on the applications for the following licenses. First is Louise Joy and Tommy Joy doing business as Edward Joy and Sons, 129 North Street, for renewal of a city junkyard automobile graveyard permit. Any issues as far as the city is concerned, as far as staff's concerned? No? I'll open the public hearing. Anyone from the public care to speak to this? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Council action. Mr. Chairman, move approval of Louise and Thomas Joy. Second. Okay. Move and second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? That is unanimous. Thank you. Next is James B. Cards the second doing business as Jimbo's Junking, 635 North Street for renewal <coughs> of a city junkyard automobile graveyard permit. Any staff issues? So open the public hearing. Any comments from the public? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Council action. Mr. Chairman, uh, move approval of uh, the request of James B. Card the second, doing business as Jimbo Junkin, for a renewal of a city junkyard automobile graveyard permit. Second. Move and second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? That's unanimous. Next item is Han Yi Inc. Uh, doing business as China Hill uh, Restaurant, 301 High Street for renewal of a city Class B license, food, liquor, and amusement, and renewal of a state restaurant, Class 1, 2, 3, and 4, malt, spirituous, vinous liquor license. Staff, any issues? Public hearing is open. Any comments? Seeing none. Public hearing is closed. Council, what's your desire on this one? Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, move approval of the request of China Hill Restaurant for renewal of their license. Second. Move and second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. Again, unanimous. And the last of these, Over Easy LLC, doing business as Sylvia's Cafe, 248 State Street, Suite Number 8 at the Mill Mall. For renewal of a city class C license, food and liquor, and renewal of a state restaurant class three and four, malt and vinous liquor license. Any issues staff-wise? Public hearing is open. 
Any comments from the public? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. And council, what's your wishes? <laughs> Mr. Chairman, move approval of Over Easy LLC DBA Sylvia's Cafe renewal of a city class C licensed food and liquor and renewal of a state class restaurant class three and four malt and vinous liquor license as requested. Second. Move and second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? <coughs> Thank you. That's unanimous. <coughs> Moving to item number 11, public hearing and action on an amendment to the City of Ellsworth Code of Ordinances, Chapter 36, General Assistance Ordinance. Is anybody going to present some information to us? That would be nice. Thank you. Yeah. Tina. <laughs> he gets extra pay if he keeps us here past 730. <laughs> I really don't have much information because we had a, it was just a small change in just the housing part of the maximums. So that was the only change that was made so far this year to the general assistance. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, have you stay right there while I open the public hearing and you can answer the uh, questions from the public. Public hearing is now open. Questions and comments? I'm sorry, I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> public hearing is closed. <laughs> Council, this is, uh, of course, annual business that we do every year at this time, but. Um, Chairman moves to approve the amendments to the Ellsworth Code of Ordinances, Chapter 36, General Assistance Ordinance, as presented. Second. Move and second it. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? That's the unanimous vote. Thank you. Item number 12, Council Order number 101503, request to the City Manager for approval to hire an additional employee in the Finance Department. I just wanted to add to this uh, before we discuss it or vote on it that this was um, this position actually was added to the finance department some time ago, uh, about a year ago, and um, so it really didn't need to be uh, on the agenda tonight. But um, it was on the agenda before all of the uh, decisions were made, so uh, that's why we're dealing with it now and. Um, uh, pretty simple and straightforward issue here. Councillor Moore. Uh, do you want to just go right to the... I'd entertain a motion at this time. All right. Uh, move to approve order number 101503, request of the city manager for approval to hire an additional employee in the finance department. Second. Sorry. Move and second it. Any further discussion? Just one quick Councilor Ford. An MMA convention, um, that's oh. not me. <laughs> um, there was some grumbling about New Gatsby changes coming down the road that, that's going to make a little bit more work and just throw it. And also, um, we've taken on the railroad crossing project as a with the state, and that's going to take a lot of Tammy's time as she's the certified one to do those projects. Right. Um, so I, I approve. I think it's time. Anyone else? Call for the vote. All those in favor? That's unanimous. Thank you. Will we adjourn? Second. Move and second it. All in favor? Thank you. Unanimous. Where do we are adjourned? Thank you. Right. <laughs>